Kia ora, KJ Perequid, back here for another weekly vlog. Um, sorry, I did start a day late. I got distracted yesterday. We didn't really do much yesterday. Yesterday I was basically shopping um, for things for China and for our daily shop. Um, at the moment, I'm just waiting for Fiona to get ready. We're basically going to my sister's housewarming. So before that we'll do some plant shopping and then go there. Um, yeah, that's about it. I'll make sure you... Uh, we'll just... I'll take you plant shopping and you introduce to my crazy family. If they're acceptable, I might have done that, but because they're not. Yeah. Mm. Here we are, we're at my out of 10, doing some shopping for some flowers or some plant for my sister's home thing. I'll give you a look at what we're looking at. This ain't hard her because I remember her from when I was working here and she kind of remembered me. <laughs> um, yeah. Do that? Uh, <laughs> no, that doesn't look good. What then? Have a look. It makes me feel like my eyes are falling. You only need a plan out of the box though. Yeah. Mm. All these ones you need to take out of the thing and put into something else though. But you do it. True. <laughs> the same. Strawberries. They're all kind of like a plastic. Anyway. Yeah. So she has to buy her own pot, pot. for it anyway. She don't know what kind of pot she wants. Well, she can decide it herself. Or yeah. She can just keep it there for a couple of days. Mm. So, I mean, this one pretty. Three for ten dollars. You buy some for ourselves. A three forty nine each. So we can buy for that and buy some for ourselves. How about a hanging plant? Where is she gonna hang? Exactly. For the white. Are oh, the yellow, orange ones? These ones? Doesn't say a uh, potted color, 99 cents.
Hey, um, yeah, it's a Saturday again. Got busy throughout the week. Not going to go to vlog this week. We're basically just gonna go through all our stuff that we're taking, pack it all up, get it all ready to go for our trip to China, Japan. And then, so at the moment, we're just getting ready to go out, go exchange some money, do our shopping, and get some other stuff for our trip. And then, yeah, I'll take you along with us so you can see what we do. Um, especially show you us doing some packing. We're not going to all today, we may use like one suitcase today, and another suitcase the next day, so on and so on. So that's all we're going to be doing today, just so you know, when you, in case you are wondering what will happen. We're in Botany now, east south of Auckland, east side of Auckland. Um, we've come here to exchange some money. Um, yeah, this is the, what the area looks like. This part of East Tamaki is a lot of Asian influence, I think. Um, Asian stores everywhere around here. Oh, well, the Korean one. Oh, Asian. Korean comes under Asian. I said I want to go to the Korean one. Ah. Okay, so you're just going to be going to exchange money right now. Hello, hello. Um, I think I might put this up. I'll be tonight or next week. Um, I guess you guys will find out when it goes up. You'll see it come up if you have notifications on. Um, but yeah, I'm just basically going to take you through cooking the big breakfast that I've done. You would have seen the finished product. I'm going to basically take you through the steps of it. Just in case you may want to try it out and you're not too sure on what you need to do. Um, it's not that hard of a thing to do though. Most of everything's all pre-packaged. There's a few prepping stuff you need to do, but it's not that hard to do. I'm just going to put you guys down over here. First of all, I might just do the eggs. <coughs> just gonna scramble them, get a bowl, crack them into the bowl. Like so use a whisk, I use a fork. It's the same sort of thing, it's not a big bowl, it's only a small bowl, so a fork is the best thing to use. You just simply just do a circular motion like that. And it gets it all mixed up.
a bit of water. I mean, the water gives it a bit of a shine. It also helps with the mixing because the big chunks of yellow seem to disappear when you add the water. Um, if you want any nice white, nice fluffy stuff, add milk, put it in a pot and cook it that way. We're not going to be cooking it in a pot, we're just going to be frying it. So it's kind of like a fried scrambled. So it's good for now. Got a mushrooms. Do all the mushrooms. Once you've cut them, um, with mushrooms, it's actually a good idea to it's a good idea to wash them. So, some water here. Just gonna wash the top of them underneath, give them a good rinsing. Just in case there's some extra dirt on them. I mean, no one likes to eat dirt. If you don't have to, just make sure you get all that extra dirt off some insecticides. If they're growing calmly, don't put insecticides, stop insects from eating them. So this just gets all that stuff off. Trying to get them all the same thickness so they cook evenly. Um, it can be a bit hard, but it is better when they are all around the same size. So this is something that we don't do all the time. We mainly just do it some Sundays, depending on what we have planned for dinner. If we have something light planned for dinner, then we'll do a big breakfast, kind of just to, so we don't have to do lunch. Kind of part make us go through the lunch time. Um, and then we've got a busy day as well, it's also good to do this as well. Um, for you guys that watch this, surprise your wife by doing this. It's actually quite easy to do. You don't really need any cooking skills, just need to know how to put it and cook it. Your wife will be happy, give her some breakfast in bed, give her a surprise. She'll love you for it. Like I've been saying, it's not the hardest thing to do. A child could do this, just don't want them cooking on the cooktop, can, can be dangerous and using the knife can also be dangerous, you can cut yourself. So you can get a child to help you if you have a child and you want to surprise for Mother's Day, help them out, cook her a breakfast in bed. Nothing goes down more than a nice warm breakfast, especially on a cold day. But that's not what's 
همین تره داشت کار بوم دره را شد به سنی Mushrooms. Last one. So you do the prep work first, then you do the cooking. So what I'm doing now is basically all the prep work, and then I'll basically start doing the cooking after I finish doing this mushroom. Up. Bacon. I've done a mistake before. Don't need to add oil. Put on my glove as they can be kind of greasy. They also the bacon provides its own oil once the fat starts to melt. Um, then it provides oil. It cooks in its own oil. Then with that oil, you can use it to cook other stuff. Yeah, so you don't really need oil to cook. Just grab what I need. Combs. So you can hear it sizzling maybe in the background. That is the bacon. Uh, good sizzle on. This is streaky bacon. We like streaky bacon because the stuff that goes crispy. I mean you might feel a little better on egg benedict. Most people will get served with breakfast. Use well, they should use streaky bacon. But all of them don't, they would use like shoulder or other bits of bacon just because they are cheaper. But streaky bacon is one that we like, nice and crispy. This pack is a it's beehive streaky bacon, 250 grams. Um, that's what we usually use. We have done a 500, but we had more people come for a breakfast, or was it? I think we kind of did it as a lunch, not a breakfast. If we had more people, we got a 500 pack with enough bacon for everyone. So I'm just going to put these up. I'll have to get out of the pan soon. Put the mushrooms, but get this done first. Okay. 
Oh, it rained last night, or this morning maybe as well. Mm. What do you want to cook? Mushrooms first? Mm. It's from as well, just being there. It's really healthy. Film the entire bit, but you can cut it. Huh? Because you don't have to film the entire bit, you can film like partial. When it's almost done, you can film more. So here we are packing. This is the second bag that's been completed. We still got one more to go, and then most probably in the next couple of days we'll do our carries on. Don't want to do them all at once. It can be a bit hectic. So we're trying to just maybe do the big ones first, and then carry on. We can chuck the small stuff in that we may need. Um, I'll show you the other bag that's been packed in the lounge so that's it right there that's one two three we do have a four but we don't have four suitcases so we're just going to be taking three so yeah just see how we go with everything that we have planned to do hope you've enjoyed this vlog that we've put up, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the bell icon when you hit the subscribe button, the second step, share with people that need maybe to be uplifted, um, leave a comment, I usually try to reply to them, or I like to have some ideas of what to do, but yeah, I guess next time I'll be doing a vlog, you'll see me in a different country. Stay strong, be positive, kia kaha.